I got to tell you, four months ago in October of last year, I witnessed the absolute uh, confrontation and violence that happened in this very spot where I'm standing. The very last thing I thought I would find this morning when I came here with a new caravan was the door to be wide open because the new Mexican president, Andreas Manuel Lopez Obrador, said that he would be forceful on this border against illegal immigration, but yet offer legal temporary status to workers. This is the bridge. Let me orient you. At 4 a.m., 4.15 a.m., I crossed with a group of a thousand migrants from the Guatemala side, which is in that direction, across this bridge, where back in October we saw the confrontation along this bridge with thousands of migrants. And we walked with this group all the way across through this entry right here, this portal, and a gate that is now locked was wide open. There was no lock on it whatsoever. And they all walked onto the streets of Mexico. I believe we have the photos. You can see I took a before and after photo. Our producer, Chris got the gates opened and then closed so you can see how a thousand caravan migrants from Honduras, Guatemala, and Salvador entered freely into Mexico without a single Mexican police officer or immigration official standing in their way. Still to this hour, we do not have any uh, Mexican police or immigration officials uh, trying to enforce any sort of bridge security. We did talk off camera to an official that told us that they just wanted to, quote, not confront the migrants and wanted them to feel welcomed and not threatened. But again, a very, very big contrast to what we saw in October from today, particularly when the message all along from the Mexican government, the new administration was they're going to be uh, forceful on illegal crossing. They said they were posting uh, police, federal police at the 12 ports of entry along the Mexican Guatemala border and somewhere all along the 370 illegal crossings that they know of. But here's the deal. At the ground zero main one, you see people riding a bike past me going in. It's wide open. Now there is a lock. So the people coming across now are going to have to queue up to the Mexican officials. But right now, there's a thousand migrants that freely walked into Mexico early this hour. And we don't know whether they were let in freely or whether migrants broke that lock. Uh, good question. Hey, Griff, just out of curiosity, you, you see the gate there with the lock. Uh, how far does the wall extend? Is it Does it go 20 feet? Does it go 20 miles? Is it easy to, if the gate's there, they can go around it? Great question. It's just that one gate in its wow. buildings in part of Ciudad Hidalgo. And so once we saw that gate get locked, we witnessed a handful of caravan migrants who were a little bit late uh, climbing over the areas around that fence and still going in because there was no police presence there. I am very aggressively trying to seek an official comment from Mexican officials here as to whether they intentionally opened that gate or whether migrants broke it. But but either way, it's the same result. Very little to absolutely nothing was done to stop them from coming in. And here's the thing. Do the numbers game. We know there is thousands more migrants coming from at least two more caravans, one from El Salvador, another from Honduras on its way. So we'll find out uh, this morning, perhaps later this weekend, how they will be dealt with. One thing's for sure. No show of force on this bridge right now. All right, Griff. Thanks so much.